Hey everybody, this is Brad Duck. Sorry for the delay and taking so much time, but uh, I wanted to do a quick discussion on uh, dealing with minors and how you can balance the workload of a minor with actually surprisingly some old equipment. So if you can look here, here you see a miner that failed. It had a B25 series motherboard. I'll show that to you next. So this is a B you know, 25 series motherboard. You notice that it has a large number of 1X series PCIe port connections designed to mine uh, systems. And you know, this motherboard is actually pretty decent for 8 to 12, but not a very stable motherboard. A matter of fact, this motherboard is very susceptible to variances on the NVRAM side. And even if you take the steps of planning out and resetting the value, the chance of this motherboard literally frying itself, like this one did, is high. So the you know the B250 motherboard is okay at its best. There's the make and model of it, Rev2, and actually it's Rev1.02. Uh, and as you can see, this unit pretty much crapped out it ran for a while but any variance on the power supply side and it get, goes south on you quick so what do you do well there are two couple things you can do but one of them we'll deal with later and that is can you recover a b25 series motherboard from asus so that you can get to use it again well the answer is well yes most likely we will be able to do that but the reason why I was bringing this up today is because I actually figured out something that I found was very valuable. If you look down here, you'll see a motherboard right down there. And it's an Asus motherboard, but it's one of the older series 97 base motherboards. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like with not being inside the case. And to my total surprise, I was actually able to do, as you can see here, quite a few video cards, five of them. And I'm finding that with the 1,000 to 1,100 watt power supply, um, this is a good even medium. I'm only burning about, you know, 600 watts, even though I've got more resource in here than that. And, uh, and this is a mixed hybrid, so I've got, you know, mixed models in here. And uh, three of one class, one of a different class, and of course the Zodiac, which you see right there. And I was, I was pleased, and the heat thresholds weren't bad. And uh, overall this worked except one problem this motherboard has a bad dim socket so I am for one to to totally take advantage of motherboards so I can get as much out of them as possible because when you mine or when you do certain types of computations you don't really need the CPU you just need the onboard cards that you add to it so if you ask the question you heard me say it right if you were doing other types of computation that didn't require the CPU so now that you look at this environment, you see two video cards here, another one here, two more here, but look, there's an uh, FPGA style class processor known as an Intel Pi processor stack here as well, which actually can compete with these two together. And so by having these flexibilities, recycling old motherboards is not a bad idea. So let's take a look at this motherboard. Okay, so we're looking at the Asus Z97-A Rev 1.2 release with M2 support and this motherboard is one of the mainstay motherboards of Asus about three or four years ago. Uh, these weren't cheap at one time but now they are actually because they are um, valuable but old. So with that being the case this same motherboard is sitting down there. If you want to look you can probably see the ID there just as it is here. And um, with that and being the case, you have a ability to take advantage of the PCIe slot IDs, which are right here, one, two, three, four, five. And I still have two floater PCIs, but I'm not gonna use those. Having these on board will allow me to backward compatible with these daughter set cards that are used to plug into the USB ports like you see right down there and provide me ability to scale up on an even scale. I'm not gonna do like eight or 10 or 15 or 20. That doesn't work when you do the math. 
um, unless you've got a really s solid setup to support it. So what we're doing is strictly something more centralized in the ability to set this up. So this is a backup motherboard here you see with the heat sink on it. Uh, there is nothing on board processor wise, RAM or even CMOS battery, it's, it's not there. And uh, I'll be taking this motherboard and I'm going to be putting it into the other miner that's operational down there, but it's running on a 370 motherboard that is kind of not happy with mining cards. Uh, that specifically being the daughter assembly card that's on board. So, recycling motherboards, absolutely valuable. I got this motherboard for about 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Uh, I've got the memory already, so I don't have to buy memory. I've got the processor already, and I've got the heat sinks as well. i got everything I need. So it basically cost me $60, and that I can live with. And it's still a really good high-rated motherboard. Uh, it's got its own onboard video. It does quite a bit all by itself. So that means I can dedicate my video card mining specifically for the cards and then not worry about the onboard. I just have to set this motherboard up so it's ready to take all the hardware. So with this short little video re representation, um, this motherboard is also a good... Uh, starter kickoff motherboard uh, so if you want to do like performance stuff this would do the job really well so um, I think that you're gonna find when you get into this and you start to troubleshoot stuff having these old motherboards is valuable because you're working to try to make money not to spend money right and to by gravitating to some of the back-end boards that actually do pretty good um, and not only good you can do what's called a four port USB card to replace these single port cards and that means you can do four video cards to a single connection that's valuable uh, think about that also as you plan it you know it's great to have the many many port connectors of a x you know x1 style pci slot um, but you can get around it you know and the world is not ridiculous because as far as i'm concerned even though the b250 um, is not a great motherboard Actually, it's very, very subpar. Um, the good news is there are other ways to do the same thing. You still have the headaches that you have, but that doesn't mean you can't get, for, you can't move on with your goals. All right, that's it for now. God bless. Hope you guys have enjoy yourselves, and if you like, please like it. Take care.